<clears throat> What's up, YouTube? I'm gonna make this quick, cause uh, I got to hang over. Keep it down. So uh, this is a uh, video response to uh, Mongo Stomp Time. I don't know if this is he reached a certain amount of subscribers. I didn't pay attention. I think he's just having a contest. So his contest is to uh, show pretty much the prize of your collection, the one you can't live without that you have. And uh, I'd be Kool-Aid Man number one. I'm shitting it. We all know what it is. <laughs> Hulk 181. Acquired this recently. Thank you, uh, Gene Paul Ace Peter. So, uh, yeah, I mean, literally, I'm running back in the house if it's on fire to at least get this book out. Um, and then you're supposed to say, what's the biggest... What's your dream book? And God, there's just so damn many, man. So, I mean, if, uh, I mean, X-Men number one, <laughs> that's really up there. And giant size X-Men number one. I mean, I know that's not thinking very big, but at one time, someone else had a contest video and they asked, what's your dream book? And I had said this. So, and look, I ended up getting it. So, once again, thanks, Gene Paul, Ace Peter. So, uh, yeah. Um, God, I don't know. I mean, you can aim high. You can say Batman number one, Action Comics number one. But, uh, I mean, well, even, what, what's it called? Red Raven? It's like the most rare Marvel comic. <clears throat> but I think I, I will just keep it real. And, like, seriously, like I said, aim. Aim in this area. I mean, I'd be super happy. And I don't have a copy of the reprint of Daredevil number one, but that's another one too, because I've got a good chunk of Daredevil knocked out, and uh, number one would seal the deal on finishing that collection. Um, oh God, even any of the first five Hulks. Jesus Christ. Um, and then the third question was, what are you going to do with your comics, you know, after you're gone? And that's why I think it, it's it's kind of depressing to think that we collect all these comics, and it's not like this collection is together forever. We're just kind of holding on to them for the time. Eventually, all of our comic collections are going to be split up. Someone else is going to be, you know, reading your comic books. But I'm in, of course I'm going to give them to Gab Gabriella. <clears throat> but she may be at a certain age where she starts dating some guy, and she uh, sells all the comic books to buy him a car. <laughs> You never know. So I hope my daughter's smarter than that. But uh notice he just added another question about your favorite YouTubers, the ones you most enjoy. Three people. And I, I really can't I can't say because I mean I seriously enjoy all your guys' videos. So I mean Yeah, I just it, it's way too hard to say three. So uh I'll just skip that part of it. But uh if you guys don't know who Mongo Stomp Time is, 07. He's awesome. I, mean, I guarantee if you're watching me, you're already watching him. So I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. But uh, I'll try to put a link below. <laughs> it doesn't always work for me. But uh, yeah, so Mongo's awesome, though. He is. We almost lost him for a little bit, and he stuck around. We're happy for that. So I'm, I'm glad. So uh, I guess that's my video. And uh, I'm going to go enjoy my hangover. <laughs> If it's my vacation, I just drink again. But uh, no, I can't do that. So okay. Well then, I'll, I'm gonna see you guys later. So yeah, later.